Hey, welcome to Fridays with Zell. Today I want to share an awesome plugin from VS Code that lets you live code with other people. It is called VS Live Share. So what we are going to do today is to set up VS Live Share and I'll show you how to start a collaboration and how to join a collaboration session. What you want to do first is to install the VS Live Share extension. Um, the VS Live Share extension can be found in the extensions marketplace. You can type VS Live Share to find it. Once you find it, you can click on install. To install the extension. And once the extension, and once the extension is installed, you'll want to reload to make sure um, it is installed properly. All right, once you have reloaded Visual Studio Code, you will see a sign in um, button at the bottom left corner of your Visual Studio Code in the status bar. What you need to do is to click sign in and a window will pop up asking you to sign in to Visual Studio Live Share. You can sign in with Microsoft or GitHub. In my case, I use GitHub a lot. So I just click on sign in with GitHub. And now we are ready to collaborate. Uh, what happens next depends on whether you are the person starting the session with someone else or whether you are joining the session that your partner has started. If you are the person starting the session, you can click on your name at the bottom left corner and then start collaboration session. Or you can simply click on the share button to start the session. It's the same thing. So once you once you have shared the, uh, I mean, once you have started the collaboration session, VS Code will show you a link, uh, a notice that a link has been copied to your clipboard. This notice will be on the bottom right corner, uh, just in case you can click copy again. And this link would look something like this. So it starts with HTTPS, insiders.liveshare. Blah, 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 blah. And you will pass this link over to your partner to join. And you wait until your partner joins um, your session. On the other hand, if you are the person who is joining the collaboration session, what you do is copy this. Um, I'm going to end the collaboration session first so I can join a session. So I have ended the collaboration session I started earlier. So if you, if I want to join a collaboration session, I can click on um, my name at the bottom left corner again and then select join collaboration session. Then paste in the link that you got from your partner. And once you hit enter, give it some time and you will be able to join the collaboration session. In this case, because I am recording the video alone, um, I don't have someone to start a collaboration session with, so that's why it says collaboration session is not found. But once you do have a collaboration session with someone, um, and once the two of you join together, you can type at the same time and the code will be uh, updated live. Like in this example where I was trying it out with a group friend of mine, Hui Jing, and we just typed console log our name at the same time. So this is how you set up Visual Studio um, live share feature and you can use it for live coding with your partner. To make it even better, you might want to use a, a video chat room kind of application like Zoom or appear.in so you can chat and type code at the same time without any lag. So you don't have to worry about using um, a screen share feature and then not being able to type into your partner's um, text editor anymore. So this will be a better way to do live coding. Now, if you have found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button below so I can send you more videos like this every Friday. 
um, you might also want to subscribe over at my blog at zelwk.com if you want me to send you one article and one video every week to help you become a better front-end developer. I hope this video has been useful and I hope to see you again next Friday.